And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 side questing. So what are we doing next? Well, we're going to be coming over here and doing this new quest. When I logged into Dying Light 2 here, it came up with this. Something big has been here. So we're going to go do that. We're going to check that out. Then we'll probably go back to try to do this quest. Or just exploring the city. That's mostly what we're doing at this point, is wrapping up loose ends before getting ready to go and... Do the second gameplay of Dying Light 2. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. Let's get into playing some Dying Light 2.
No way he'll believe me. And I'll look like an ass. Why? Why what? Why will you look like an asshole? Oh, because my new supplier, Edgar, has turned out to be a man of his word, which is very rare these days. And I can't screw up our first transaction. I just can't. And it's all because earlier I accidentally kicked the table leg so hard that I could barely stand. <laughs> Forget about walking. Let me guess. You'd like me to run an errand for you. Well, yes. Precisely. Run. And fast. You'd save my ass. And my business. <laughs> well, running is one of my specialties. Oh, thanks, Hayden. Don't thank me just yet. Where, where do you want me to run? I promised Edgar that if he brought me flour, I would exchange it for crow's eggs. <laughs> Don't laugh. No bullshit. Seriously. The flower arrived as promised, but without you, he won't get the eggs. And he'll think I've swindled him. Won't even give me the chance to explain my injuries, either. Can't say that I'd blame him. I wouldn't trust me, either. But I know where the nests are. I can mark their locations for you. And what is he gonna do with crow eggs? Those birds will eat anything, so I imagine their eggs taste like crap. He wants to make a tree cake for his wife. It's a special cake that you turn on a spit, like lamb, so the heat burns out any impurities in the ingredients. He's angered his wife and wants to apologize to her. She occasionally mentions a tree cake that her grandmother once made. They say it's delicious. Then, will you save my business and Edgar's marriage? I'll give it a shot. Uh, how many crow eggs does he need? The more the better. Apparently, there are 40 eggs in the original recipe. Of course, those were chicken eggs. Who would eat crow eggs back then, right? Anyway, it's important he gets those eggs, so I don't lose his trust. Trust is priceless. It would be for anyone, right? I thank you in advance. Only Aiden, 
You know how fragile eggs are. You don't handle them carefully, and, well, the yolk's on you. some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind of audio diary from <laughs> Ah, gee. Gotta remember to buy wax. We're almost out of candles. How you doing, pal? <laughs> they were so hard to remain in this world. Who are you talking about? Who do you think? Plants. The gifts from nature that surround you, of course. You don't even notice them. But if they hadn't found a way, you'd surely have noticed their absence. Found what way? To survive the pollution we forced upon them. You're such an ignoramus, like most people. He'll be going soon. Don't worry. And when you think about it, it is impressive how nature always, uh, finds a way. It is. It is impressive, indeed. People have tried different things. We lacked food, it caused chaos, starvation brings the worst out in people. But the plants? They're so much better than people. When we were killing each other for the last of the supplies, plants went to seed and just started growing where they could. In a way, Nature took back what was taken from her. Why rooftops? The soil on the roofs was purer. Must have been the rain that diluted and washed away the chemicals. It rained more frequently back then. But now, when there's less rain, they're going to have to make tough choices again. What do you mean? See these crops? Corn, cucumbers, wheat. They need more water than they're getting. We're doing our best to irrigate them, but it's not easy when our own supplies are dwindling. So, less water-demanding species are taking over. Tomatoes, beans, squash... But that creates another problem. What's that? They establish deep root systems which can start damaging the structures of buildings. Obviously, that would directly impact our own survival. So, think it's gonna be us or them? I'm pretty sure. It's going to be them.
As an investment?
in a goat. <laughs> I mean, goats are becoming a status symbol. Do you believe they have healing properties? <laughs> what else? As much it? as I believe they'll give me the. So I think what I need to do next is farm for a little bit. But I'm kind of scared to farm based on how tough these enemies are. So let's go try to farm. Uh, we need more money and I need to get more trophies so I can upgrade this right here and upgrade this. I feel if I upgrade these two things and maybe even do this, that this will improve my odds of being able to defeat that one big thing that we encountered earlier. Let's see if this farm still works. Your sisters know what you're planning? 
rest of them. Lethal designs. So when we come back, we'll try to take on this little yellow diamond um, quest marker here. Uh, it's obviously, I'm going to have to go farming here at some point, which takes a great deal of time. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you support button. I'll see you guys in the next video.